Would you like to see city skylines with five different builders? Are you excited when their city gets choked with traffic? Hi, I'm Lee, and I'll show you a few other tricks to solve traffic at this pesky old interchange. Why, you don't make me come over there. Welcome back to Port Concord. Let's check out traffic and see if there's anything we need to correct. Uh, ooh, well, yeah, that doesn't look good. Lots trying to come into this area here now. All right, let's put in some paths here. Definitely need to add a few to make it easy for everybody to use the tram. Something else that we could probably use here is a bridge, pedestrian way to get across here. I think I can add that in pretty easily if I just change this segment here and go to an elevated segment. We'll use park paths to get across here. Oh, hey, we're renowned now. That gives us a lot more buildings to work with, like Tree School Library, School of Tourism and Travel. That will help us with our tourism, and we can also get an academic statue and a commencement office. And we got two academic, two more academic works. So let's finish this path. Oh. Of course there's a pillar underneath there that's really, really weird. Well, we're just gonna pretend it's not there for the time being. Anarchy is super helpful at a time like this. Well, that's really deep. Does it not need to be that deep? Not for pedestrians. Soften that a little bit. There we go. Now this neighborhood over here can also benefit from the trams. And yeah forgot to add the original path back in. I'm sure our lane arrows are right still. Still having problems with that <laughs> interchange now. Yeah, that's working out really well. That was totally worth it. All right, so. What is the story here? Let's look at our traffic routes, see if we can diagnose where these eyes are going. Don't want to know about pedestrians and cyclists. So a lot of people are going around, turning left there. A lot of trucks going into the waterfront. A lot of people going over to this neighborhood too. Really would benefit to have this interchange over here. I think that would probably save a bunch of trips. So what I'm gonna do to try to cut down on this is just build something temporary. One of our guests will eventually come in with a more permanent solution. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Oh man, that's really bad. They're not using the right lane. All right, so let's extend this ramp a little bit. This will allow us to queue more trucks. Just straighten that out a little bit. Use Anarchy to put the ramp where I want it, and then I'll just Upgrade that and clean up the neighborhood a little bit. Fix the zoning, tidy that up a little bit too. I'd make this ramp a little longer, but I think it'll get too close to the other interchange. The other thing we'll do is narrow this for a little bit and we'll split this lane in the middle. We'll make that a two lane exit. Make sure it gets used right with lane connectors and leave the lane arrows as they were and see if that helps clear anything a little more. We're a little congested still at Douglas Street, but the ramp seems to be working better now. And we'll straighten that out. Now that I look at it, it's pretty wonky. Nothing a little movement node controller can't fix. Well, let's go back to what was here before. In fact, let me just straighten this whole thing out. This is originally a six lane road. Ah, the highway. And I'm gonna redo these ramps. Let me get the pillars in the right places here with these guide roads. Rebuild that. That's better. Okay, so let's rebuild these ramps here. Uh, I'm going to reconfigure the interchange and have a looping ramp come underneath the highway since most of the traffic comes from downtown and uh, this will also space things further from the next interchange, which is pretty close by relocate the intersection here and realign Dale Drive to meet up with it. 
and then I'm going to just make sure that I get everything lined up nicely. The straight on ramp right here. Just have to space the nodes a little better and fix the grading so that everything's level and just neaten everything up. I use the node controller to level things out a little bit. After that, I'm gonna make sure I have a dedicated left at this intersection and make sure I have dedicated lefts at all the others that everything's configured pretty much the way it was and set up my lane connectors on the ramps. Now I'm gonna set up junction restrictions, make sure that there are no pedestrians and no holdups. Don't want pedestrians crossing here. I really don't want them crossing there either. Don't want pedestrians here. And I already don't have them there. And I don't think I'll not have pedestrians there either. Now I just need to tidy up the zoning along Dale Drive and fix the street names. All right, let's see how the traffic works out now. I reconfigured this interchange because I really feel like this is a better way to do it. It gives a lot more distance between these two ramps. I think we're still having trouble over here. Uh, that's that's another traffic fix that I don't really have time for or run it out. And I'm still having trouble at this interchange. Let's see if we can get these guys to stay in their lanes. Pick the right lane to begin with. Maybe that'll help. These two inner, these two uh, ramps are not quite as close. So there should be enough nodes for them to change lanes in. And where are the trucks turning? I set up the lane connections manually so I know they go where I want them to. Let's try that and see if we can get them to use more lanes. Another junction I forgot to fix the restrictions on. Well, it seems to be working a little better, but we have a lot of trucks going through here. And I'll try to turn left, wouldn't you know. So since uh, Zard has set this up to have everybody go from one to each direction on their own cycle, a solution here would be to have two left turn lanes. So maybe we can get some trucks to take that other turn lane and that would reduce the congestion here. I also really don't like the idea of them blocking this intersection. Uh, it looks like they're going to do it anyway because it's blocking the trams <laughs> from getting through. There are more trucks going through that intersection. In fact, that, that almost cleared it right there. Hey, what do you know? That little tweak made a huge difference right there. There are two trucks waiting <laughs> at Main and Concord. That's great. Uh, you know, another thing we could think of doing is the same thing here. I don't think it's really necessary though. It looks like everything's working out okay there. All right, let's see if there's any other trouble spots. Got a lot of congestion where there's the trams. Got a little bit of congestion because these ramps are too close together. And we got a little congestion here because I didn't turn off the traffic lights. Let me do that in this neighborhood. We'll leave that traffic light there for the pedestrians. And we'll have a traffic light there. Don't need one there. Somebody doesn't have water. Let me make sure I have all my stop signs and stuff set up. I think that covers the most of them. Should be a little bit more pedestrian friendly. All right, now let's see if we can get to the next level here. Well, we're not going to probably get it. Let's and a school of travel and tourism though. Oh, in a commencement office. Oh, city planners other park leveled up. Now I want this. I want to preserve the sight lines here and this building will let me do that as long as I position it the opposite direction. So let's do that. Basically need to be across the street from that other path. There we go. And we're gonna reposition this a little bit. Add in a fountain. 
Do I have a library? I don't think I do. I'll put it over here by the gymnasium and the IT club. So how are we on attractiveness? We only need a little bit more. Another cafeteria over here. Oh, no, let's put it over here. And we'll set up another dormitory. There we go. Now we're over. We have a long way to go before we can get to level 4 on this, though. So it's going to be a little while. We need more population, a lot more population. We need to be probably at least at our next milestone in order to have enough students to level up. And let's look at fire and police here. Let's look, look at our land value. All right, our land value up here is pretty low. How are we doing on fire and police coverage? Oh, we barely have any. Well, that would be why. Let's put a fire station down here. You can put it here on the corner. And then police. Let's just put it next to the high school. Let's just put it here on that road. Now, something else I want to do before I finish it up is I want to get a helicopter depot in here because I just know there are going to be fires in this forest and on these mountainsides, and I don't want them to get to everything here. Where could I put that? I think I could put it over here. This would be a good place. Put it right there. I'm going to put a few fire towers in just to make sure nothing catches fire. This looks like a good spot right here. And we'll put another one right there. Uh, it doesn't look like it can sell. There it is. Okay. It's right next to my university. You know, I'm going to move it up the hill. Put it right here. Oh, that's much better coverage. That'll keep it away from the university a little bit. This area here might be a little patchy. And that area over there in Concord Valley looks good. So that should uh, prevent a few problems from happening. Let me take advantage of this park here for a second. Not too concerned about doing anything more than just saving the space and making sure that somebody else who takes over the city doesn't think, oh, I could build there, uh, unless they want to build a park. That park will take forever to level up, but just want to get that there. Oh, bummer. No electricity. All right, now I can get rid of power lines. Yeah, that looks good. I should protect that sight line really nicely. The sight line I'm trying to protect is that trade school administration building you see here. And I just want to make sure I use this park to keep the view unobstructed between it and the city. So it'll be a nice dominating landmark there. Okay. Uh, one other thing we probably could use is a hospital. We have a lot of sick citizens. We don't have a lot of places to take care of them. Let's see if we can find a place for a hospital here. Might have to break the grid for this. Ooh, this spot looks promising. Try putting it there. That might not be the best place. It's not a terrible place. Hospital overlooks the rest of the city now. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good line of sight right there. Let's see how our healthcare looks now. Got a lot better coverage than we had before. Still probably use a medical clinic up here, and I'm going to put it right next to the police. Yeah, wow, that neighborhood's really grown up. So we're about halfway between our last milestone and our next one, where we'll be able to get a university campus, eco water treatment plant, lots of good stuff. We just uh, set up a district up here. We're just gonna call this Highland. Land value is a lot better in that neighborhood than it was, I bet. There we go, we're starting to see some green there now because of the park. Concord Place is the ritzy part of town. Downtown is really getting expensive, too. Concord Valley isn't far be far either. Actually, Concord Valley is a little ahead of downtown. We're still having traffic problems. 
What am I ever going to do here? Let me check and make sure my time traffic light isn't broken from me doing all that work there. Oh, I think it is broken. Let's find out here in a second. Oh, I need to change some lanes up. Still only wants to use one lane on that ramp. Alright, so that's not broken. It looks like it's working just fine. Alright, I'm going to use the lane connector here. And I'm going to force that center lane to be to use the right lane. And I need to set that dedicated right back up. So let's see what happens now. I'd like to take a second here to address comments like these. First off, Biff is a really cool guy. Do you think he'd really shout like this? Second, I am using lane mathematics. Right now, more traffic turns right than left, favoring one lane more heavily. I reconfigured the lane connectors to make them balanced. I have to wait for the longest lane to clear anyway, and so leaving less with rights on one lane saves me money on a lane I don't need by more efficiently using the lanes I have. With more balanced traffic, this won't back up onto the highway, and if it doesn't back up, then I don't have problems splitting this lane on the highway, and the longer ramp helps with this. I may not handle traffic exactly like Biffa, but I'm sure you can see from the results that what I do works. Thank you for your comment. And thank you, Biffa, for being so supportive of small YouTubers like me. <laughs> Alright, I need to use the lane connector to force everybody to stay in their lanes once they make that turn, otherwise I have problems. Now let's watch and see if that works. Alright, they seem to be using both lanes a lot more now, so I'm, I'm, ha I'm satisfied. Let's check out traffic across town. We've got some not enough educated workers because we probably don't have enough educated workers, but we're catching up on those. About to use it. Need another high school. We've got plenty of university capacity now. So I'm satisfied. There's a lot that could be done, but I'll leave it for the next guy and see what he can add. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. The next man up is Overcharged Egg. Hopefully he'll catch the details I missed and really make this city beautiful. Give his episodes a look as well as Imperial Jedi, Zardis, City Planner Plays, and special guests the Tim Meister, Imperator, and Biffa. Thanks so much to my Patreon supporters and to you for watching. I'll see you in Reddington and in the next round. So long!